In the divisional round of the playoffs, it was a close race between us and the Buffalo Bills, but it really came down to one key matchup being Chidobi Owuzie versus Amari Cooper. We ended up scoring in the first half off a of pick six, and as the game was closing on to its end, a knockaway by Owuzie would secure our spot in the AFC Conference Championship, defeating the Buffalo Bills 20 to 13. And that leaves us to face the Pittsburgh Steelers. The seventh seed has made it all the way to the AFC Conference Championship, though this was really a very tight-knit AFC side. There wasn't really any teams that very much separated themselves. But the Steelers did have to go through the number one seed in the Colts, a team we were vibing with to try to get that first round by. Steelers beat them 28-23. We're coming off that 20-13 win. And it's time to see if our defense will continue to keep us in these games and arguably even win us these games or if the offense will finally show up, put up a lot of scores. We've scored 20 in each. Actually, all of our playoff games have ended with a score of 20-13 to against the Chargers. That's exactly what it was in the wild card. So we'll see if that continues on here against the Steelers. Now, as we get this championship underway on offense, of course, it is the playoffs. That means a win in 50 likes. You could have the Super Bowl tomorrow. If not, it will be out on Saturday if we get the win. And starting with a gain of one, definitely nothing flashy as it leaves us with second and nine. We got a bunch up top, tight end down to the bottom for Murray. Sitting in the pocket, gonna step up, has some space. We'll run straight at the defender and get dropped prior to the line to gain. If you guys have been watching the Rams franchise, you know he just ran through one of my guys for a very key first down. We don't get that here. Instead, Mixon will get the job taken care of on third down with a gain of about two. And while we definitely have had our best season in terms of the receiving room, we still kind of are going Mixon's way a whole lot more often. First pass of the game, though, does go to Trey McBride with a gain of five. He's been pretty solid. All in all, this offense is still really solid. We've seen some regression for the offensive line since the beginning, but everywhere else, I would say, has improved as Mixon makes a guy miss across the middle and brings up another third and one. And we'll be going at it from a heavy set. Three tight ends to the top. The lone back is Mixon. He'll hand it off right down the middle with a first down, a gain of three. So slightly better than the last third and one. But we're definitely not busting off any bigs run yet. As it's first and 10 with the I formation. Going right back to Mixon down the middle. Another short gain, mark it three. Perhaps trying to lull this defense down into the box. Pop off over the top. We have some speed at receiver. Not tremendous, but we do have some. And we will go with a pass here. Kyler to the outside. Good throw, though actually caught out of bounds. Will leave us with a third and seven intended for Shepard. Will be another pass, though Kyler going to step up. This time we'll pick up the first down and a good little bit more, but the ball pops free, but everything is fine. The rookie receiver Green jumps on it. A late shove. No flag thrown. It would appear we have the same refs that ref the Chiefs and Eagles. With a first and 10, Kyler going back to the bottom and drop that time by Green. And on top of it, Tevin Jenkins, one of our offensive linemen, bit shaken up. So second and 10 might need to rely on some outside rushes as we do go outside here for a short gain. Actually, gain of five is an awful by Hill. We'll make things a little bit more manageable. Third and five. With two receivers stacked down to the bottom, one up top. Hard count, no one jumped. So Murray going up top, has the guy. This time Green holds onto it for the first down, down to the 22. A very simple yet methodical drive here for our Central Plains State's only challenge. As the safeties come down, they send the blitz. We go Shepard across the middle. Not going to quite break away, but again, a seven. Like it. We're definitely forcing them down in towards the box, though. With us being closer to the goal line, Helps them out a little bit and just not on the same page there. Murray just completing half of his throws so far this first drive. 
As on third and three, we come out with a I formation right down the middle. Mixon inside the five, keeping those legs moving to the two. But we won't come out in the normal goal line set. Two receivers up top. Though we will hand it off Mixon down the middle as the diving defender jumps on his back. But Mixon is in for the first points of the AFC Conference Championship. But now it's time to see if our defense can have just as good of a start as the offense. We took off most of the time here in the first quarter. There's about a minute and a half left for the Steelers. Is there going to go deep? Knocked away. I believe that was Chidobe Awuzie there on coverage. They have some really good receivers. You can see an X-Factor and a Superstar down to the bottom. They go for the X-Factor. However, the feet, or maybe even shoulder, landed out of bounds first. Intended that one to find Devontae Adams, but missed him. Third and ten. Steelers rolling towards the top, and sack comes in Okoronkwo. Fourth and twenty. We will force a punt in about 10, 15 seconds of play. Well, I'd say it's been a pretty good start so far here in the AFC Conference Championship. We're up 7-0. Back on offense with some play action. Kyler going to step up, trying to find a gap. Does find it. Trying to fight for the first, though they're gonna mark him short and Kyler supposedly a little bit shaken up. He'll actually head off the field despite getting up rather quickly. So for the first time this series, Mason Rudolph heads out at quarterback in one of the biggest games so far and he finds green, but the hit knocks it away. Two timely hits there for the Steelers defense. One on the quarterback, one on the receiver. Leaves third and inches. Mixon picks up the first down by about two. And if Kyler is going to be out long term, hopefully not. Haven't gotten an update yet. He might really need to rely on Mixon. As it's an empty set, so definitely not relying on him here. Rudolph from the pocket. Awful throw. Not only was that behind his receiver, but was that his toes <laughs> so no way he was making that catch we go back to mix in here try to find some rushing down the middle opens up breaks a tackle he's at the 20 he's at the 10 five drag down at the three that is one heck of a way to end the first quarter as we're set up down at the three to start the second it is the goal line set and we do still have mason rudolph out there we go Mixon cutting towards the top, but a great tackle there. 25 in open field. Though we do still gain about a yard or two there, leaving second and goal at the one. Mixon again right down the middle, stuffed at the one, but maybe falls forward for about half a yard, so we're inching closer. Though on third and goal, we shake it up. Got a bunch down to the bottom. We will throw it. Mason finds his guy this time. Shepard gets the touchdown, and we go up two scores. And as the Steelers' offense retakes the field, we do have an injury update, but it's not for Kyler Murray. On the point after attempt, the backup tight end Sherman had a knee cartilage tear. His day is done. So we're going to be at least losing him. Not quite sure yet on Kyler. As the Steelers trying to get their offense going, they lost 10 yards in total on their first drive. Only have gained five so far. And they'll need to double that for the first down. On third and five, another pass for Gomez. Rolling towards the top, but thrown out. So still sitting with negative total yards. Defense once again coming through. But as the offense heads back out, the only update we have for you at the quarterback spot is one, Rudolph still out there as we start with a run by Mixon and it's a good shifty run. Picking up seven, already 87 total yards for him on the day. But the other news is that it is a chest injury with Kyler Murray. The extent we don't quite know yet. As Mixon shaking and baking a ghost in the backfield but buys time for another first down up to the 35. And if we're going to see Rudolph throughout this game, we're definitely going to need the running backs to step up for us. And the receivers, they got to get open. As we fake the jet sweep, Mixon back down the middle will pick up a few already over that century mark. And we still have about two and a half quarters left in this game. With a heavier set, two tight ends down to the bottom, plus the receiver green, who's about the size of a tight end. It's another handoff, but somehow 
They don't give us the first down there. They say third and inches. So clearly, that ball is past the line to gain. It's going to be a tight set here. Going back to Mixon, and he will squeeze out. How is that not a first down? The ref's fixing this one right now. Though Denver, us, we're challenging this one, and it should definitely have been a first down on the third down, or on the second down run, let alone the third down. And yeah, they agree. They'll expedite the review, and we have ourselves a first and ten. With an eye form, it's going to be some play action for Mason Rudolph. Dumping it down to the bottom, we're going to have Willis, who does not break through the first tackle attempt, just a gain of one. But if we are going to be throwing, I want these things to be short and quick. I don't want Rudolph sitting in the backfield too long, especially if any helmets go flying. As we hand it off, Nixon, another gain of one. But on third and eight, you can't really rely on a short throw. I imagine we do throw it here, though. Just need a medium or deep throw for Rudolph, who dumps it off instead. Mixon tried to get the juke, but not by the two defenders. It's fourth and five at about midfield, though. It'd be safer to punt. And with just under two minutes left, Steelers will have all three timeouts to try to find some points here in this first half. They will start with some throwing. I'd imagine that's what they've done mostly today. Dumping this one off, a quick stop comes in. Just a gain of four, Robertson. The second year linebacker, if I'm not mistaken, quickly collapsing on that one. Will be another throw from Gomez here, sitting in the pocket. Pass rush hits home by a number of different defenders. I don't think we go into thirds there on the sacks, but 51 got the majority of it. As we go with a stretch up top, he's there again with the quick stop. And hey, we call our second timeout. We want the ball back. So they will punt it away. Look for a decent return here, perhaps. At least a field goal before a half would be nice. But we start at the 33. Need to get to about the opposite 35. I definitely have to give a lot of credit to the defense in this one. They've played phenomenal. Offense has had some good drives, but since Rudolph has come in, nothing all too flashy. As we dump it off for Mixon, who gets trucked after the gain of eight. We'll hold on to that last time out. As the clock ticks under 50 seconds here. We're in a tight bunch formation down to the bottom. Make, not Mixon, actually. Is it Mixon? Yes, actually Mixon. He picks up the first down for us. Now up to the 47. Need about another 15, 20 yards here. With about 25 seconds and counting. They send a blitz. Across the middle, we had Trey McBride, but the throw a bit off. Well, that at least stops the clock, lets us just chill a little bit as they try to go right back to it. Defender sitting there lurking. Jaron Curse gets the pick with 16 seconds left. They do have three timeouts. Possibility for a field goal. They'll have to find space. Our defense has not allowed. But we do here, right down the middle, play one. With nine seconds left, they call that first timeout. Definitely inside field goal range here. They'll go with another throw. Gomez rolling, checking it down and knocked away. Oh, even Okoronkwo can cover a man. But with five seconds left, they do bring out the field goal unit to get at least some points in the first half here, unless things go awry. It looks accurate, had the power. They do grab three just before half. But of course, as we do reach half, Madden would break in its super sim and we maintain possession starting at the 27. It should have been the Steelers starting off with the ball as we started the game. So for stakes here, let's just say they fumbled the kick return. And as you can already see Mason Rudolph still out there. We will not be getting back Kyler Murray in this game. Hopefully it's just the one or great remainder of this game that he misses as Green picks up the first down. We could obviously with a win get the bye week for the Pro Bowl and then Super Bowl, which would hopefully allow Kyler enough time to recover. It is a bruised sternum, just a bit tender light on breath, so we're not trying to force him out there. Plus, doctors haven't given him the clearance. As we have second and four here, it will be a throw from Rudolph across the middle. Very accurate to Shepard, who honestly didn't look like he expected the amount of power behind that throw. But the thing is, with the lead here, we don't need any heroics from Mason Rudolph. Just some simple play. 
as we're definitely keeping things short and quick, which I like to see. Already finding Shepard a few times, including, I want to say the second touchdown for us did go to Shepard on the short distance from the goal line. Back to him here. Barely picking up that first down, down to the 35. Already his fifth grab of the day, though not racking up a lot of yards. As we have a bunch down to the bottom, sitting back shotgun. Will be another throw from Rudolph. Across the middle, finding Dre McBride. No, just kidding, that's green. Again, that size comparison between the two will definitely mess me up. As it's a tight single back set, going to be another throw. Rudolph going up top. This time McBride can't hold on to it. Curse knocks it away. But already we're about at the halfway point of this third quarter. It's at least one thing this offense has done. Kill time. As pass rush is going to hit home from the blind side. Split the sack between Bryant and someone else. That leaves us with a third and 19. Need at least the field goal here to keep this thing a 14-point game. As Rudolph, in the pocket, takes the, not takes the sack. He throws it away at the last possible second. But we will have to send out the field goal unit. This one from about the 35, so we'll mark it a 45-yarder for Brown. As the hold down kick is up. Right down the middle, making a 14-point game once again. We really need this defense to keep up their momentum. Steelers grab three before half following the INT, finding a first down rush here on their first rush of the second half. Williams with a, about a gain of 12 and a little bit of some extracurriculars at the end. With a first and 10, they're at the 35. Said that strangely, going to hand it off back down the middle, but stuffed. Both Murray and Asamoah are there to meet Williams. His defense definitely has a lot of speed, and they do fly around really well. With a second and 11, right down the middle, Dylan lays the hit, and the ball sails out of bounds. Gomez only three of eight on the day. And they have not been able to hook up much at all with their superstar or their X Factor, both at the top of the screen here. As it's third and 11. Gomez going up and right over the top of Murray finds their tight end to the 34. They really haven't gotten much offensively besides two big chunk plays. That one going to Isaiah Likely. As they're in plus territory now, going back to Williams, stuffed at the line, Dylan. He's had himself a pretty good season, I would say, next to Ogba down the middle. That's a solid one-two punch. As it will be another throw from Gomez. Going down to the bottom. Wide open is their superstar and into the end zone. Some busted coverage, it would seem, as Solomon Matthews scores their first touchdown of the game. And the pressure definitely mounting now for Mason Rudolph and this offense. Need to keep the points coming in here. At least a field goal. Keep it a two-score game. As we do find green, gain of six. I also would not mind a nice slow methodical drive once again here. Drain some clock. As we come out with the single back set, will be another throw. Rudolph up top has Trey McBride with a first down and a little bit more past the 40. Now Rudolph started a little shaky, had some inaccurate throws, but since then he's been pretty spot on. As we have our first and 10 hanging off, Mixon down the middle, trying to find some space, just picking up two. It's been a little while since he's popped off a big run. Would like to see one. We'll depend on if we actually get a snap off here, and we do run a play before the end of the third. We'll pick up a few more and head into the fourth with a third and four at about midfield. Just have to continue taking care of business. We've been the better team so far. Just need the first down here, as it will be a throw, Rudolph. Gonna have to quick spin, I guess, and throws it away. We still have a lead, so we should punt. But that's now two times we've been stopped at the 49 on a fourth and medium. Just need a little more to go our way in the first couple plays of that drive, and, you know, might still be marching. Good stop here, though. Gain of nothing. Defense continuing to fly around. We just have to limit those one, like, big chunk plays, or we've given up, I think, a total of three so far in this one. But they've been costly. All the points coming off of them as there's a diving catch by Likely. 
uncovered. They keep finding those gaps. And apparently a little bit of a flop there too. With a first and 10 now up to the 33. Defense got to tighten up those loose coverages. As it will be a throw, Gomez in the pocket. Pass rush, headed in, he throws it away. Only 50% completion for the young quarterback. Okoronko will help providing some pressure there. Leaves second and 10. They go back to Williams. Quick stop, Asamoa. Now we just got to get off the field. With a third and nine, they have a bunch pistol set down to the bottom. Gomez in the pocket, waiting, going up top, and they find Solomon Matthews. He had their touchdown on the last drive, though a little bit shaken up despite the celebration. All that adrenaline can really cover things up as he limps to the sideline. As they'll go back down the middle, Williams getting just absolutely rocked there by Yeast. But they're definitely closing in on field goal range here. We're about at the five and a half minute mark. Back down to Williams. Stiff arm. Yeast rocks him, but he bounces off of it and picks up a nice gain, leaving third and one. And they'll head at it with the strong eye pistol set. Two receivers up top, though. They stretch it down to the bottom. A quick fill gets the stop fourth and inches. Roberts in there to meet him. Just need one more play here. It's the I form from under center. They'll go up top. Williams picks up the first down. About a gain of three, three and a half. They are needing a touchdown to tie this game up. And if they do, that would then definitely break the 20 to 13 score line as it's dropped by their tight end. Pass was a little bit behind him, but need to be able to make that adjustment. Leaves them with a second and 10 at about the four minute mark. Back down the middle, Williams gets stuffed again by Robertson. He's feeling himself in this one. Him and Murray, a pretty good combo there at linebacker. With a third and 11, we send a blitz, a delayed blitz, rolling, a throw away will bring up a fourth and 11. Do they send out the field goal unit? Indeed they do. Would be just inside the 40. We'll mark this about a 49 yarder. It is up and right down the middle once again. A four point ball game. Now no shenanigans needed here. Just simple, run it down their throats and kill the clock. As we start with a stretch to the outside, Mixon shook but could not keep his feet. Leaves second and two. He had a very dominant first half. Missed him quite a, for a little while here in the second half. Not a whole lot of big gains, but gain of eight on first down feels that way. As we go with the counter, couple lead blocks, picking up the first down to about the 37. And we're definitely letting that clock roll. Might get the snap off here before the two minute warning or we might just let it hit. Let's see what Rudolph and this offense think. And it will be the two minute warning. We are just a couple minutes away from a Super Bowl berth as we have a second and eight here with a run down the middle. Mixon breaks one tackle to the outside, picking up a first down, though George Green shaken up on the play is gonna be a free timeout for the Steelers. We hope the young receiver is okay, but that is costly for us. As we're gonna motion over Willis, act as that fullback in position he typically plays for us as well. Handing it off Mixon, finding a gap through the blockers and just picking up another first down. Just one timeout remains for the Steelers. With a minute 47 and now counting. Mixon trying to break it to the outside, gets stopped at the line, but no free stoppage of clock for the Steelers. Their last timeout is gone. A minute 40 and now counting again. Mixon breaking it to the outside is close to a first down. Third and one. And it'll be from the I set. They only have four guys on the line. There should be a win here for us. As we hand it off, Mixon does get the first down. A big block at the end there, I believe, with Bakhtiari. Just the stamper on this one. And despite losing our starting quarterback early on in this game, we would see it on through. Murray out here to help celebrate with the team. 
but gotta get our props to Mason Rudolph. Came in and played a good game. And luckily, we will not be missing Kyler Murray for that Super Bowl. However, we still will be missing Enrique Sherman, who did have that knee cartilage tear again pretty early on in that game. So we're short on tight ends right now, considering we also use our tight ends to play fullback. But the team did well. We also have Green, who could technically kind of be a emergency tight end for us, and we could use some other receivers, but... Definitely have to give some props to Mason Rudolph, who came in, went, I mean, I want to say it was a pretty decent completion percentage. I want to say it was like 13 of 20 or something like that. Had a touchdown early on and limited mistakes, though he did have that one interception before half that did lead to the field goal. But before we leave, a couple different things. One, if you guys hit the like button, get it up to 50 before around 1230-ish tomorrow, then you guys could have the Super Bowl out tomorrow. If not, it will be on Saturday. But speaking of the Super Bowl, it's time to see who we're going to be playing. And it'll be the Dallas Cowboys. A very fitting team for us to be playing against, or at least any Texas teams, as once again, we are the Colorado, Kansas, and Oklahoma States only challenge, or easily more said, the Central Plains States only challenge, taking on the Dallas Cowboys next episode with Lamar Jackson at quarterback. He threw for over 4,500 yards, 31 touchdowns, six interceptions in the season, not even counting any sort of running he did. The Cowboys have the number one passing offense with an average rushing game, a top 10 scoring offense. Defense is very average, 13th in points per game, 11th in rushing yards, but 30th in passing yards, though we are fairly average with the 13th passing offense and rushing offense. Defense, we struggle a little bit against the pass, so at least according to the stats, though I think we've typically done pretty well. Defenses have definitely won us most of these playoff games, and hopefully we'll see that happen one more time to round out the Central Plain State's only challenge next time. So make sure you hit that bell icon on the bottom right or scroll down to the actual subscription button and definitely tap that bell icon so you're notified of when these videos go live. This series every single Wednesday and Saturday, though you can't have the Super Bowl out tomorrow if you guys hit that 50 like goal. We also have the Rams traditional franchise. And if you have been watching that one, expect big changes to be happening tomorrow. That series comes out every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. So a whole bunch of long form videos, plus all the shorts highlighting everything in these. So just a whole lot of content. And just possibly one more episode left in this series, if all things go well. So until then, we'll see you guys in the Super Bowl. Bye. Now it's to